Hi, welcome to Shop Talk. I'm Janine Wright, editor of Greenhouse Grow Magazine, and I am here for a visit with Dr. A. He's back in Georgia, so we're doing this cross, cross the country, but um, Alan, how are you this morning? I'm doing well, Janine. Uh, this, this, is, this is kind of fun to, to do this. I hope people will enjoy it. Yeah, I think it'll be a good thing. And, you know, last video we talked about new plants, and, and we talked about that there was more to say on the new plants. So here's something I've been kind of thinking about, wanting to get your opinion on. You know, you go into a greenhouse grower, you've got the labeling is so much different than what we see in the industry when we first see those plants come out versus, you know, how annuals are labeled, how perennials are labeled, and that can get kind of confusing for the consumers. So what do you think on that subject of new? Well, I think on new, as we mentioned, new is important, and that, that, that's great. But I think we're also trying to sell to somebody. Um, so when the breeder is breeding an, a new digitalis or a new columbine or a new euchra, you know, there's quite a few of them. We complain about the number of them, but they're pretty easy to see the difference between amethyst versus caramel in euchras. But when you get to, to annuals, how many dozen petunias and <laughs> dozen calibricolas and dozen pansies are there? And so it becomes much more difficult to, to distinguish between them. And from the point of view of the landscaper or the point of view of the consumer and garden center, boy, labeling on annuals is, I'll call it mediocre at best. <laughs> For Whereas sure. On perennials may not be that much better, but there's just not that many of them. So, you know, there's only so many of them that, that, uh, that, uh, that the people are looking at or landscapers are asking about. So I think one of the problems with new is, uh, you know, how do we let people know that they're new or is it even important to let them know they're new? I mean, does anybody care except us? Yeah, that's the question for sure. And sometimes, you know, we see all these different new plants and they're gorgeous, but how do you, how do you distinguish between each one and how does a consumer, and like you say, is that really relevant or is it more relevant what does the plant do? What will it do for me? Kind of thing. And, and, absolutely. And, and I think on this new, it really is only important to us, quite truthfully. It's important to us because we, again, can talk about something new. We can really say, hey, this is really cool. It's new and it's different and it's better, we hope. Uh, but again, from the point of view of do we want the landscaper? Do we want the consumer? Do we want anybody else who's actually buying and using a plant to know it's new? Eh. Sure, it's, it's a good story, but we got to make sure it's better and it provides a solution for a problem the landscaper or the gardener may have. That's the key for new. Yeah, I'd agree. It's all about the education. It really is on the consumer side. So definitely there's lots more we can talk about on this and, and in other videos. And um, any ideas of what you think we might want to talk about in the future? Some Give somebody a sneak peek of what we're going to talk about? Well, I, I don't, I don't want to you know, beat this new over the head. Maybe we can talk about a few actually specific plants that, that caught our interest. And certainly there's a ton of interest in things like natives, pollinators, you know, solutions, etc. cetera. We, we're not going to run out of things to talk about. That's about all we have time for today. Thank you for joining us on Shop Talk. Be sure to go on the website and check out more videos that are posted there on greenhousegrower.com. And stay tuned because Alan and I will be talking about lots more industry issues and plants and things going on. We'll have some special guests on, so we've got lots of great stuff planned for you.